in the way it is now, you're taking the same fucking risk as you do when you rob a bank. You take more of a risk. Banks are easier. Federal banks aren't supposed to stop you during a robbery. They're insured, you know, why should they care? You don't even need a gun in a federal bank. I heard a story about a guy walked into a federal bank with a telephone. Hands the telephone to the teller and the guy on the other end of the line says, we've got this guy's little girl. If you don't give him all your money, we're gonna fucking kill her. Did it work? Fucking A it worked. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Knucklehead walks into a, walks into a bank with a telephone. Not a shotgun, not a pistol, a fucking phone. He cleans the place out and they don't even lift a fucking finger, you know? Did they hurt the little girl? I don't know. There, there probably never was a little girl. The point of the story isn't the little girl. The point of the story is that they robbed a bank with a phone. So, you want to rob banks? I'm not saying I want to rob banks. I'm just illustrating that if we were robbing banks, it'd be easier than what we've been doing, you know? So, you don't want to be a bank robber? No. All those guys are going down the same road. Either dead or serving 20. And no more liquor stores? What have we been talking about? Yeah, no more liquor stores. Besides, it ain't the giggle it used to be. Too many foreigners own liquor stores. Koreans, Vietnamese. They can't even speak English. You tell them to empty out the register, they don't even know what you're fucking saying. They take it too personal. And we keep on, one of these goop motherfuckers is going to make us kill him. I'm not going to kill anybody. I don't want to kill anybody either. But they'll probably put us in a situation whether it's either us or them. Well, and if it's not these gooks, it's these Jews. Who've owned the store for 15 fucking generations. They've got Grandpa Irving sitting behind the counter with a fucking magnum in his hand. You try walking to one of those places with just a telephone. See how far it gets you. No, fuck it. Forget it. We're out of it. Well, what else is there? Day jobs? Not in this life. Well, what then? Garçon. Coffee. This place. Here. This is a coffee shop. People never rob restaurants, why not? Bars, liquor stores, gas stations. You get your head blown off trying to stick up one of those places. Restaurants, on the other hand, you can catch them with their pants down. They're not expecting to get robbed. They're not as expecting, anyway. I bet we could cut down on the hero factor in a place like this. Correct. Just like banks, these places are insured, you know? Managers don't give a shit. They're just trying to get you out the door before you start plugging diners. Waitresses, forget it. They're not taking a bullet for the register. Busboys, some wetback, earning a dollar fifty an hour, really gonna give a fuck that you're stealing from the owner. Customers don't know what's going on. They're stuffing their faces with food. W w one minute they're eating a Denver fucking omelette, the next minute they're uh, somebody sticking a gun in their face. You see, I got the idea. That last liquor store we stuck up, remember? Yeah. Well, those customers kept on coming in. Yeah. And you got the idea to take everybody's wallet. I did. That was a good idea. Thanks. We made more from the wallets than we did from the register. Yeah, we did. A lot of people come into restaurants. A lot of wallets. Pretty smart, huh? Pretty smart. Okay, let's go. Right here. Right now. Remember, you're crowd control. I handle employees. Same as the last time, yeah? Got it. I love you, honey bunny. I love you, pumpkin. Everybody be cool! This is a robbery! Any one of you fucking pricks move, I'll execute every fucking one of you! Got it?